Do you believe in angels? Do you believe that God sends guardian angels? If you are like me, you've heard many stories, movies, documentaries, books, magazine articles. You've probably heard someone preach or teach on the subject of angels. Are angels really good? Does God send guardian angels to protect us? Well, what does the Bible say? What does the Bible teach about guardian angels? Well, we're in Songs for the Summer, Psalms chapter 91. It is packed with beautiful promises from God. Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk at the American River right here in the city of Folsom. The sun is about to rise and it gives me hope each and every day. But God's word gives me greater hope. And here David writes to us about guardian angels. It's found in Psalms chapter 91, verse nine. If you will make the Lord your refuge, if you will make the Lord the most high your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near you. For he that is the most high, almighty God, he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. The Bible teaches us angelic activity from the book of Genesis all the way to the book of Revelations. God orders his angels. That's not what I said. That's what the word of God teaches. God created the heavens and the earth. God created you and I. And yes, God created angels. The Bible tells us that Jesus prayed and fast for 40 days in the desert. And after the great temptation, where Jesus dealt with the devil, saying, the word of God says, if you read that very carefully in Matthew chapter 4, you'll recognize that the Father sent angels even to minister to the Lord Jesus Christ in a mortal body here on earth. How much more does God send angelic beings to guard and protect you? The book of Psalms, and specifically chapter 91, is the most filled chapter in all the Bible with God's promises. It's worth reading these few verses this morning. Those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge. He is my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from every deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and your protection. Don't be afraid of the terror of night nor the arrows that fly in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near you. He will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. His angels will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush the lions and the serpent under your feet. This is what the Lord says. I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When you call on me, I will answer. I will be with you in trouble. 
I will rescue and honor you. I will re reward you with a long life and give you my salvation. Songs for the Summer, Psalms chapter 91, live at the American River, right here in the city of Folsom. You be blessed today as you fill your heart with the promises of God in Jesus' name.